project, you will need your sewing machine, an ironing board and an iron, fabric, scissors, pins, and a measuring mat, and any other tools that you usually use when you do a sewing project. If you want to measure out the piece of fabric that you want, and this is my piece, and this is my measuring mat. I already have this cut out to the size that I want it to be. So I will tell you what size that is. I just kind of skipped a step for tutorial purposes. So this is 22 inches wide. And then it is, let's see that's 24. Um, plus 20, so 44 inches long. Then you just cut out your fabric and then we're going to take it to the iron. This step we're going to work on our edge. So we're going to start folding it down. I'm going to do a double fold for the edges since um, we're not making this a double-sided runner. So, I'm going to fold my edge. I think this is about a quarter inch. Let me see here. I've got a ruler right here. So, yeah, this is about a quarter inch. And then we're just going to take that, take the iron to it. I want to get a mini iron because I did get this mini board and I think it would be nice to have a mini iron. But I'll just use this one for now. And run that all the way across the top. Okay. And then we're going to fold it one more time along the line. So like that. That way all of our raw edges are encased inside of our fold. And then you want to hit that with the iron again. Okay, and I'm going to pin um, a few places down so that it stays while we do our other edges. So I like to use the pins with the ball on the end, that way I can actually see them when I am sewing. So I'm just going to hit the ends and then the middle as well. And that will hold it in place while we set down our other three sides. So you want to repeat that process on the other three sides and then we will start sewing. This corner where I met the short side with the long side, we have some extra fabric and I kind of want to clip this corner before I fold for my second time so that this extra little fabric isn't hanging out. So I'm just going to go in and clip like this before I fold over for my second time. So now I have a nice clipped corner and then I'm going to go in for my second fold and I won't have any extra fabric hanging out of the side here. I'm going to go ahead and choose your thread. Then head on over to your sewing machine. It is time to sew. So I'm just going to sew down the center of each line and I'm going to start on a short end that way I can turn the corner easier. And my machine does the work for me. I just press this little green button and it goes. So I just kind of guide it along. You can do it any faster or slower. I'll just show you slow so you can kind of see what's going on here. And I'm just sewing down the center. I like to sew slow anyways, even if it takes longer to complete. Um, I just like to make sure that everything doesn't get messed up. Getting close to the corner here, so I'm going to let it go. And then I'm going to kind of pick it up and make sure that fabric's under there so that it doesn't do any um, folding. And then I'm going to sew about halfway through there. And then I'm going to do a couple back stitches, which I forgot to do at the beginning, but you want to make sure you always back stitch. 
I'm going to back stitch at each corner and then we're going to pick up and pivot and turn and then you want to sew all the way around and make sure that you back stitch at the end and on the corners. So we're going to dress our table now. Don't mind the curtain over here. It uh, got hit by the cat. So I'm going to take our new runner. I'm just going to place it in the center of the table. recycled wine bottle and I'm going to stick it right behind the napkins and I'm going to dig into my flower bag and I'm going to find us some flowers. I actually have some floral cutters right here. I'm just going to cut these and place them in here like so. And you guys can fill the vase with water or anything that you want to fill it with. I'm just going to leave it as is. Alrighty, so I'm placing these little square jars from the Dollar Tree. i got to take these labels off, but I'll just leave them on for right now. And I'm going to take some little votives and put them in there, these little candles. Um, I have a ton of these left over from the wedding, but you can get them really, really affordable on Hobby Lobby, online, anywhere really. I'm going to take a long grill lighter and light those really fast. They'll catch. <laughs> Alright, and I kind of want to stick this out a little bit just because, just so it's more even. I know, I'm really weird about that, it doesn't matter. But, let's see, but yeah, that is everything for the easy DIY table runner and just a quick, easy tablescape for it. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video.